Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Matt with Green Bar Trading. So being in a house filled with people on vacation is <laughs> crazy to try to find a place where there's not a lot of noise. Now, that was my father-in-law going down the elevator, which means he can literally hear me in the elevator and he's trying to interrupt the video. So you have to love the in-laws. So I'm gonna share my screen. What we did today was, whoops, hang on a second. So basically the, the beginning of the day was, you know, jumping on things too early. I, you know, how many times do you guys jump on things a little bit too early um, instead of waiting for the move, the obvious stock to present itself? Well, it happens to me all the time, especially when I'm trying to trade pre-market before the entire house is up and basically sitting on my lap or in my ear or a kid here and a kid here. So here we go. We're finally up in Adam. Okay. Sharing the money maker. We just wrapped up 38.88, took some profit out of the market. Now this is so important. Take the profit and walk away. That is the bottom line. If you get in the profit, especially like for me, for example, I started the day jumping on the first thing I saw moving and then jumping on the second thing I saw moving. And what would you know? Those are my two losses. So let me just move this. Well, not really that big of a loss, but GTIM, that was the leading gapper. I jumped on it when I saw it moving, it sold off. Okay, very good. You know, starting the day off with a loss and then CWBR, same thing until I got back to even on it. I was down on it. So I started today off being down just about halfway to my max loss, which, you know, is not the way you want to start each trading day. And this is three days in a row for me where I start off in the red, my first two trades, and then I go green when volume starts to come in. So what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to wait a little bit. Now, I always feel like I'm on a, a, a time crunch and that is because I am on vacation and people are depending on me to be around to do things like eat breakfast together and go to the beach. So, you know, I am trying to get trading done early, but this morning I was lucky enough where I actually didn't have to go out and grab the breakfast. Somebody else did. So I was able to trade after 9 a.m., which we saw FULC ripping up, and that gave me a majority of my gains today. So I think the bottom line, and let's just, the bottom line is wait for your stock, wait for the stock, the obvious one to present itself because every morning there is one obvious stock. <clears throat> okay, so let me see my trades on here, good. So this is my losing trade. I'm just gonna pull up active trader. This was, my first or second trade. I think it might've been my second trade, but at the time this was the leading gapper for the day. Now it's still up 20%. So it's still a good game. But as I got in for continuation here, um, it just went right down against me and broke VWAP and I had to get stopped out. This was, a VWAP support play. I was always going to cut it if we broke VWAP, and we did. 
I did like this one though, because it gave a lot of range to make profit, but it just didn't go the way, you know, not enough volume yet. It just wasn't, it wasn't the stock of the day. And as you can tell, it's now trading at 550. So not the greatest, uh, you know, as far as holding up goes. And then we were looking at um, CWBR. Now CWBR, pulling this up over here. I started scalping this one way too early again. Before it, you know, before the volume came in, before the stock really, you know, got the attention that a leading gapper will usually get. Now this one's up 61%. It's actually still up here at where we were trading it, which is, you know, really good to see that that means that, you know, maybe some people made decent money off it. It's nice to see the leading gappers holding up a little bit, but this started ripping up at, let's see here. It was on the pre-market gapper, went all the way to two fifties. So when I'm trading this over here, my, Back of mind target is always going to be previous pre-market highs. And that's where my mind is at over here. So, you know, I got in at, this was my first trade right here. Getting in with 300 shares, it didn't hold up, broke VWAP, had to cut losses. This whole thing right here is just a mess. And this is trading way too early. And this is what I'm going to avoid. There's mental capital expended here. There's shares churned and there's losses that don't need to be here because the move did not happen yet. Wait a little bit. Wait for more people to wake up, right? 7 a.m. is 4 a.m. on the West Coast. So, you know, obviously back here, this is where I got back everything I lost. Whoops. This is where I got back my losses from earlier. Trading a couple of nice flag patterns. Now, um, over here, I once we broke through this trend line, I took a couple for the break of, you know, two 18s, this area, we didn't get much of that. It broke by one penny. So I cut the trade. I got in at 218 for the break of the pre-market, um, not the pre-market high, but the high after the initial push up, and it just didn't go. So that's when you have to cut the trade. Don't hold, don't hope, just cut the trade and wait for the next opportunity to come around. So then FUBU, this is one that I really regret not holding. FUBO, thank you for correcting me, young man. All right, so right here, All right. it's not showing the trade. It's not showing the trade, but I took this trade around this area here. And then we got the break of this previous area of resistance and really, really ripped up. But I did, I still took $12 off it. So not, not too bad. Mogo is also one that I scalped over here. Now these scalps were all breaks of previous high. So you have this area here, you have this area here. Every time we broke, I wanted to get in, take profit over here, get in, take profit over here. And that's those scalps, um, you know, higher highs, higher lows. This one was, you know, giving some decent moves. It's currently at 720. So not too bad, it's holding up there. 
And then came, let's see, F U. No, this is it. So at this point, I stopped trading. It's uh it's almost about eight o'clock in the morning. And this is where I started to, you know, go see the family, do this, do that, and realized, you know what? You can still trade. So F U. LC comes up and this was, I got a partial fill here. So it definitely minimized what I was able to take off it. But I was able to scalp and make $28 off of this move right here. Let me just move it over on this one. And I think this is really important for people to understand. If you just wait until that stock really shows itself. And this yesterday was a huge, huge mover. So I knew that there was continuation potential on a stock like this. So once I saw it started to move up, I waited for the pullback right here. I got in at a good entry and then took this nice, beautiful green bars. The only problem is it moved so fast that it only filled half of my order. So I canceled the other half because I didn't want to get caught in a flush down. So I canceled the other half and just let this go. It is what it is. And I took the profit up here towards the top here. I, at this point, was grateful for the opportunity, grateful that I was able to still trade at this time. And the family was, you know, patient with me. So I was able to, you know, take advantage. At nine o'clock, that's when you start to see the volume and some more movers um, come into play. So this was good. And then... No, I shut down the platform and everything else and was happy with where I'm at. You know, $39, started the day with two bad trades and, you know, put myself in a little bit of a hole. The key though, tomorrow, I'm going to just wait. I'm going to wait until 7.30, maybe even eight o'clock and let that one stock show itself where all the other day traders are trading. And then we trade our patterns and we watch our risk and make way more profit than churning around shares at 7 a.m. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the recap. Hit the thumbs up. It helps the channel continue to grow. And um, I do thank every single one of you for watching. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys back on the next one. Take care.